Number 1 Stay Joseph's Church With a Neo-Gothic temple he showed what reinforced concrete could achieve by devising a self-supporting tower 107 meters tall. So when you stand in the choir there's nothing above you but a hollow tube with bare concrete illuminated by sunlight filtered through stained glass. Number 2 Musée d'Art Moderne André Malraux There's five centuries of art at Muma, a modern glass and steel building right next to the marina. Since the late 19th century Le Havre has either been the birthplace or home of a raft of superior artists like Braque, Dubuffet, Fries, Dufy, and Monet. Number 3 Place de El Hotel de Ville Inaugurated in 1958, Le Havre's City Hall and Square are another cornerstone of Perret's vision for the city. The clean and bright mixed-use buildings around the square have held up well, and their high ceilings and tall windows recall neoclassical townhouses. Number 4, Le Havre Beach Up from the port, Le Havre's huge pebble beach has perennial blue flag status. The sea is clean, if a little on the cool side, and on the promenade in summer you'll have restaurant after restaurant buying for your business. Number 5 eSpace Oscar Niemeyer Lou Vulcan Round off your journey of discovery through Lou Haver's modern UNESCO site at Lou Vulcan, an eye-catching cultural center conceived by the Brazilian Oscar Niemeyer who also designed Brasilia and helped with New York's United Nations building. Lou Vulcan was finished in 1982, and you'll know it for its monumental white concrete cone and the saucer-shaped library next to it. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.